bring out your environment and uh, science book open page number 114 and 115 our today's topic is lung to perform normal activities of life energy is required or energy is needed Food give us energy. Within food, there is potential energy. Within food, there is potential energy. Derived from solar energy. After digestion, simpler forms of food are absorbed and transported to all cells of the body. After oxidation of food within the cells with the help of atmospheric oxygen, kinetic energy is released. We use this kinetic energy to perform our fundamental life processes. I am telling you again. Energy is required to perform our normal life activities. We get energy from food. Within the food, there is potential energy. And this potential energy is derived from solar energy. And after digestion of food, simply a form of food are absorbed and transported to all our living cells. And there within the cells, this food is oxidized with the help of atmospheric oxygen and kinetic energy is derived or produced. And we use this kinetic energy to perform our own life activities. Now next, respiration. Cellular respiration. It means that Food is transported to all our living cells and within cells this food is oxidized with the help of atmospheric oxygen and thus kinetic energy is released, carbon dioxide is produced. This is a biochemical, biochemical process. Cellular respiration is a biochemical process. Now, breathing, breathing. It is uh, divided into inspiration and expiration. What is breathing? It is a mechanical process by which atmospheric air is inhaled and internal air is exhaled with the help of respiratory organ. Look at here. Inspiration. Here. Atmospheric air, mainly oxygen. Atmospheric air, mainly oxygen, is inhaled. And what is expiration? After respiration, internal air mainly carbon dioxide is excellent with the help of our respiratory organ. Now what is lung? Lung is our respiratory organ, is our respiratory organ. In case of all vertebrates, in case of all vertebrates, we find lung. Now, unit of lung. Alveolus is unit of lung. It is a singular number. In plural, it is called alveoli. There are about 10 million alveoli in each lung. In case of infant, lung 
is blackish pink. Lung is full of tubes that carry blood. So it looks like blackish pink. But in case of adult, lung is darker in color. Why? Because pollutants enter into the lung through the incoming air. Yeah. So in case of adult, lung is darker in color. Do you follow? Next slide. What does the inside of a lung look like? Now look at the board. What does the inside of a lung look like? Here, this is trachea, the main res respiratory tube. This trachea divides into two branches called primary bronchus. This is left primary bronchus and this is right primary bronchus. Left primary bronchus enters into the left lung and right primary bronchus enters into the right lung. After entering into the left lung, left primary bronchus and after entering into the right lung, right primary bronchus divides into numerous branches and sub-branches like secondary uh, bronchus are seen here. There are also tertiary bronchus not seen in this uh, picture. Each of the sub-branches is called bronchiole. Here is a bronchiole. Look here. Terminal end of bronchial bronchial a alveolar sac is produced alveolar sac and alveolar sac holds numerous alveoli each of which is called alveolus. This alveolus looks red in color because each alveolus is uh, provided with blood vessels and there are about approximately 100 million alveolus in each lung. So, this is about what does the inside of a, a lung look like. Next slide, please. What does a lung do? Look at the board. What does a lung do? Number one, lung takes air inside the body. This is actually inspiration. Second, extract O2 means oxygen from incoming air. That means lung takes air from atmosphere 
inside the body and then extract oxygen from incoming air. Third, mix oxygen with blood. Means this incoming air contains oxygen and lung extract extract this oxygen and mix this oxygen with blood as you know lung or unit of lung that is alveolus is provided with blood vessels lung extract co2 means carbon dioxide from the blood because after mixing oxygen with blood blood transports oxygen to every living cells and their oxidation takes place with the help of this oxygen and carbon dioxide is uh, produced and this carbon dioxide comes in comes in contact with the lung through the blood and then lung extract carbon dioxide from the blood lung expels this carbon dioxide to the outside we try to understand the pathway of air passing atmospheric air enters into the nostril and through the nostril atmospheric air enters into the nasal cavity nasal cavity and from nasal cavity air enters into pharynx from pharynx air passes to larynx and then larynx from larynx air enters into trachea from trachea air enters into the lung and then at alveolus alveolus mix this oxygen here within lung or lung extract this oxygen from incoming air and this air with the help of blood reaches to every living cells and within the living cells respiration takes place with the help of oxygen and as a result carbon dioxide is produced and then carbon dioxide is again mixed with blood comes to the lung from lung carbon dioxide enters into the trachea from trachea to larynx larynx to pharynx pharynx to nasal cavity and through the nostril this carbon dioxide is released into the atmosphere now how do we inhale and how do we exhale how do we inhale means inspiration during the time of inspiration volume of the thoracic cavity is increased volume of the thoracic cavity is increased due to two points one downward movement of the diaphragm and second intercostal muscles contract how look at this figure this is a figure one uh, do you know what is this this cavity is called thoracic cavity thoracic cavity and this thoracic cavity is covered with thoracic rib 
this is sternum and these are the ribs these are the ribs these are the ribs and within this uh, thoracic case there is a lung there is lung and these are the intercostal muscles means muscles in between two ribs muscles in between two ribs this is one rib and this is one rib and muscles within these ribs are called intercostal muscles so at the time of at the time of inspiration look at this uh, figure figure this is diaphragm uh, see the position of the diaphragm downward movement of the diaphragm that is that is diaphragm is lower here so volume of the thoracic cavity is increased and due to the contraction of intercostal muscles volume of the thoracic cavity is increased as a result pressure within lungs is decreased as a result air from the atmosphere entered through the trachea and then into the lungs so this is inspiration and next how do we exhale just opposite that is expiration and just opposite to inspiration means during expiration volume of thoracic cavity is decreased how here, here downward movement of the diaphragm now upward movement of the diaphragm see here upward movement of the diaphragm here intercostal muscles contracts in case of inspiration and in case of expiration intercostal muscles relax and as a result volume of the thoracic cavity is decreased so pressure within the lung is high as a result air from the lung expelled outside so this is expiration i shared from net a 10 seconds video clipping for you to make you understand the contraction and relaxation of heart as well as lung simultaneously watch it and learn now problems of the lungs problems of the lung that is there are some disorders related respiration those are asthma this is also a type of lung disease COPD full form chronic obstructive pulmonary disease COPD is also a type of severe lung disease and asbestosis and silicosis these are also two lung disease so these are various types of lungs diseases now symptoms of problems means symptoms of these type of lung diseases there number one coughing number two shortness of breath that is breathing problem severe breathing 
breathing uh, problem. Third, nostrils are flared while breathing uh, in case of infant. Number four, nose blocked completely. Number five, spit blood while coughing. This is a very severe symptom of lung disease. Then number six, cough continuously. And number seven, runny nose. So we have completed all about uh, lungs. Uh, thank you. Stay at home and stay safe.